Red Range interview with GQ. The Carolina Panthers quarterback Cam Newton told the magazine he doesn't think he is subjected to extra scrutiny because he's black. So that leads to the question, are Cam Newton's critics racist? Now, he says, quote, it's not racism. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Now, Newton has been criticized for his playing style. And we talked about this. It, was, it mainly happened during Super Bowl week. And we talked about this. I, I, was, I went all in on this. So if you want to go back to the Super Bowl episode, go back to it. And we talked about it. Uh, but he was criticized for his playing style, his demeanor on and off the field throughout his five seasons in the NFL. Uh, and he also, uh, at some point, it's Newton's race as a part of the reason he received such criticism. Because they, they label him as a, a black quarterback. And I forgot exactly what uh, the title was. There was a headline to him. And it was during the Super Bowl week. And I remember, and I was upset about it because they wanted just to label him by a black quarterback and not just a quarterback. And I think they were describing his playing style and how so dynamic and stuff like that, which it is very dynamic. But they were tossing away like there's never been another quarterback like him. And they said only quarterbacks like him were just because they were just they were comparing him to other black quarterbacks, basically, is what they were doing. They weren't comparing him to any other type of quarterback, even though there's other quarterbacks that aren't black that have some of the same playing style as him. So uh, he dismissed the idea of the GQ. He said, quote, I don't want this to be about race because it's not. It's not like we're beyond that as a nation. Uh, before Super Bowl 50, here we go, Newton created headlines when he described himself as an African-American quarterback that may scare a lot of people because they haven't seen nothing like, uh, they haven't seen nothing that could compare him to, which I found other players uh, that I could compare him to that weren't black. He later eased off those comments in a run-up to his first Super Bowl appearance when he became the sixth ba- black quarterback to start in the NFL's title game. Quote, I don't even want to touch the topic of a black quarterback because I think this game is bigger than black, white, or green. I think we've limited ourselves when we just label ourselves as just black, this and that, and the third. I want to bring awareness because of that, but yet I don't think I should be labeled as just a black quarterback because it's bigger things in the sport that need to be accomplished, end quote. Now, when he was asked about, he also went on to talk about some other national issues and Uh, Newton said he doesn't have his opinion on Republican presidential candidate uh, Donald Trump and wouldn't say whether he would vote uh, or if he voted for North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory, which McCrory was the guy who also um, had the old issue of uh, the the public restrooms, transgender and and gay bathrooms, stuff like that. Yeah, Uh, he wouldn't go on to that. And he said, Newton said he would rather let people develop their own opinions rather than advocate uh, for his positions. Quote, I'll let you be the judge. I don't look at it like that. I look at it like people have certain beliefs and I have my own belief. And we can agree to disagree on certain things. But this is what makes sports so amazing. That we can start a discussion around the table, in the newspaper, in the magazines, that will get people's attention. And that's what sports does. Uh, GQ released its September cover story featuring Cam Newton on Monday, so be sure to go check that out on GQ. Um, <clears throat> I, I like Cam Newton. I, sometimes I think off the field he he can go a little too much. I think that's just how he is. He's very open. Um, but I mean, you we in college football, everyone described him or compared him to a Tim Tebow, the running style. The, how strong they were. Uh, now, Tebow didn't have the strongest arm, or he had a strong arm, but just wasn't most accurate. But there were things that we could compare him to that weren't just two other African-American quarterbacks. So when Net- Cam Newton said that, and there's another headline about it, it was just like, why does it have to be about race? We're talking about how you play on the field. That does not, you know, wh- how you play on the field is not determined by the color of your skin. It's that simple. Yet, Cam Newton kind of opened the door to that during Super Bowl week about race. And, of course, once that happens in in, in mainstream media, you have just opened up the floodgates because everybody in media 
wants to use the race card if possible because guess what it gets the views it gets people talking once you get them talking it gets more views more views equals more money networks love money everyone loves money so race card boom opens it up gets everybody going so that was what was upsetting was because it went straight to race and not about the football field and what was happening and describing the player as his playing capabilities, what he has. That was what was upsetting. So, uh, and, and also, you know, what I, the only criticism I really gave Cam Newton was one, not diving on the, uh, on the football, kind of uh, backing out. <laughs> and also, uh, was just how, what everyone else said. If you're going to smile, you're going to dance, you're going to party when you're winning, you can't be a, a sore loser and a crybaby when you lose. You got to have that chest up high. You got to have your chin held up high. You cannot go from dancing and celebrating, going crazy and happy when you're winning. And when something bad happens, when you lose, be on the far, far opposite spectrum. I get it. It sucks. You lost the biggest game of your career. But Russell Wilson threw the game-losing interception. Guess what? He took all the questions. He took all the criticism. He took all the blame. And he handled it. But it was his second Super Bowl. He had been there before. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. You can ask any player that has been to the Super Bowl multiple times or at least two times when they've won and when they've lost. And I guarantee you they'll say it's different and it's, and they don't know how to handle each one when, when they won and when they've lost, they're, they're, they're a little lost on how they got to handle it, but they somehow pulled through Cam Newton did not. That was my, that was my main thing. Other than that, I love Cam Newton plays great. I'm not a Panthers fan. I'm not a bandwagon. Definitely not. Um, but when are we gonna lose the race card and just talk about when it's it doesn't when it's not even about race? Why can't we just talk about football when it's not a, when it's not even about race? When it doesn't even have to be, why do we have to let it be? That's my question. I, I don't